Hello, Mr. Sanchez de Jesus, Manuel de Jesus Sanchez. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome. How are you, Jacqueline? How are Hi, you? Very good. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Excellent, excellent. How are you, Sanchez Lopez? How are you? Very good. No, Emily said, how are you? No, Emily said, how are you? How are you, teacher? Very good. Nady Evis. Hi, Nady Evis. How are you? Hi, hi teacher. All good right. Night. Good evening. <laughs> good evening. Yes, good evening. Fatima Guadalupe, how are you? Fatima Guadalupe, how are you? All right, nice, nice. Hello, Silvia Esperanza. Hello, Ana Lisette. Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you? All right. Hello, Eremias, how are you? Excellent. Hello, George Alberto, how are you? Hello, teacher. Nice. Hello, Eric Xavier. Yes. Hello, teacher. Excellent, excellent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with today's class. Um, I would like for you to tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? What vocabulary do you remember? What expressions do you huh? remember, etc.? ¿Qué se acuerdan de la clase de ayer? ¿Qué vimos ayer? ¿Quién me puede dar ejemplos? Simple past teacher statement with regular verbs. Correct. Very good, Jacqueline. Simple past statements with regular verbs. Excellent. So today we're going to do a little review. Eh, vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso de este tema, de lo que estuvimos viendo ayer. Solo para conectar la clase de ayer con la de ahora. They hate it. Ah, yes, things you hate. Okay, ahí está. all right. Vamos en la 4.2. Everybody, listen, please. Pass using regular Pueden escuchar? Additionally, you'll practice Pueden escuchar? Which is yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. All right. Everybody listen and repeat. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Well, I have had a busy weekend. I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Really? Why? Well, on Saturday. Well, on Saturday. I exercised in the morning. I exercised in the morning. 
Then my roommate and I cleaned. Then my roommate and I cleaned. Did laundry. Did laundry. And shopped. And shopped. And then I visited my parents. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? So, so what did you do on Sunday? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, sorry, sorry. I studied. I studied for the test all day. I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? Oh, oh no. no, we have a test today. I didn't study. I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. I just, uh, just watched television or wait. Okay. At this moment, does anybody have any questions related to this vocabulary referring to the pronunciation or the meaning of the words? Um, sorry, can you repeat? ¿Qué significa roommate? Ah, my roommate. Roommate es como compañero de casa. Okay, thanks. Yes. Another question? Another question? Okay. Puedo repetir una vez más? Yes. Thank you. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. And I feel a little tired today. I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Well, well on Saturday, Saturday, I exercised in, in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned... Then my roommate and my friend did laundry. Did laundry. Did laundry. Did laundry. And shopped. And shopped. Shop. And then I visited my parents. And then I visited my parents. My parents. So what yeah. did you do on Sunday? So, so what did, did you do on, on Sunday? On Sunday. I studied for the test all day. I studied I for the study. test all day. Okay. All day. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Do we have a test today? We have a test today. I didn't study. I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. I just watched television all weekend. Okay. All right. Now, what I would like for everybody to do at this moment is you are going to work in pairs and you are going to look at the practice, the conversation. Va a practicar la conversación. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, I podría repetir cuál sección? La cuatro punto cuál? It is section number 4.3. Thanks. 
Yes. 4.3. Richard, ¿podría enviar la conversación por WhatsApp, por favor? Yes. Gracias. Good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening. Eh, I'm sorry, I entré un poco tarde. Eh, no sé si me puede explicar un poco de lo que se trata de la actividad. Hay que practicar la conversación que ha mandado. Sí. Ice, ice. He studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watched television all weekend. Okay, ahora este, intercambiamos. Mm -hmm. okay. Hi Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. And I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, then my roommate, and I clean the laundry and shop it, and then I visit my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television high weekend. Ahora cambiamos otra vez. Okay. Hi Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a this weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, then my room and I clean the laundry and shot, and then I visit my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I study for the test I did. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watched television all weekend. Um, lo volvemos a hacer no. otra vez. Okay. Este. Hi Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, then my room day, and I clean the laundry and shopping and the visit, and then I visit my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I study for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watch television, I pick it. Okay, ahora yo soy Michael. Hi Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a this weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? 
Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, then my room and I clean the laundry and chop, and then I visit my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I study for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, just watch television all weekend. So I do. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little today. Really? Why? Well, on Sunday, I exercise in the morning, then my room, roommate and I clean the laundry and shop, and then I visit my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I study for the test of the day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I did study. I just watched television hard weekend. Okay. Otra vez. Un momento. ¿Cómo? Nuevamente le digo. Ajá. Hi Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a good weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, then my room and I clean the laundry and chop, and then I visit my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test high day. Oh no, do we, ha do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watch uh, television all weekend. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning then my room take and I clean the laundry and shop and then I visit my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I study for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I did not study. I just watched television I weekend. Okay. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a this weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, then my room and I clean the laundry and chop, and then I visit my party. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test I day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watched the television on weekend. Okay. Hi Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. And I feel a little today. Really? Why? Will on Sunday and will on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I clean the laundry and shop, and then I visit my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I started for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I did a study. I just watched the television I week.
All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let me have two volunteers. Me, teacher. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. Jeremias and Noemi Lisa. Jeremias, you are going to be Michael and Lisette is going to be Jennifer. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Sanchez. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Do you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? <clears throat> well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning and I room it and I clean it with laundry and shop it and then I visit my farm. So, what do you do on Sunday? I sleep for the rest all day. Oh no. oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Perfect. Very good, guys. Awesome. Does anybody have any questions at this moment? Okay. Now, uh, in this there, activity, yes. Is busy or busy? Or no, but, but, busy. 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 Correct. Okay. Busy. Okay. Now, you're going to write a similar conversation like this one. You are going to write that conversation over here. In pairs. Va a escribir una conversación similar en parejas. On the discussion forum. Ready? Let's go. Sanchez Lopez. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Everybody, Cindy, let's go. Glenda, let's go. Sanchez Lopez, De Manuel de Jesus, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Manuel de Jesus, let's go. Hi, JD. Hey, that's um, um, el primero. You have a good weekend, man. Okay. Well, este. uh, ¿Cómo estuvo el, el día? Hi, hi, Nadi. Um, How do you do? That's it. Did you have? Yeah. Did you have? So yeah, it would be like a week of the week, right? How 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 did you get? Ah, how was your week of the week? Ah, we put it like this. How was your week? How was your week? Hi, Entonces aquí sería well. Sí. <coughs> Creo que es good. Well, I have. Well, I, I have. 
uh, um, uh, very good. Um, I have a rusty, rusty day. Um, well, I I have. Um, Okay. Um, today, and what's the weekend? I can tell you today. Today, see. Sí. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, ahí responde. Es eh, como un día muy ocupado. Ah, ya, yeah. entonces. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cómo sería ahí? Entonces, well, I, I have. I have a boosty day. Ah, bu boosty? Boosty day. day. Justy day, justy day, yeah. Justy day, yeah. Again. Yeah. Um, y luego. Um, esto lo podemos yeah. dejar así. Really, um, wait. Muy bien. Realmente, realmente, ¿y por qué? ¿Por qué? Uh -huh. Sí. Bueno, sería... Eh, sí. Luego... Guay. Eh, guay. Uh -huh. ¿Y por qué? Entonces, eh, puede, puede contestar eh, eh, mucho trabajo, ¿no? Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería where... Um, well, well, um, um, well, eh, eh, podemos ponerle well. eh, muchas reuniones, good, good meeting. Ah. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se escribe? Igual. Ah, um, ¿Cuál sería la, many, la palabra ahí? Well. Many, well, many, 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 well, uh, many meetings. Many Mini um, reunión. Um, um, muchas reuniones. Many, many, se escribe many. Mini. Ajá. Mini. Y, y, o trabajo, eh, mucho trabajo. Many sí, work. también. Many work, mucho trabajo. ¿Ya? Mucho trabajo. Um, Sería a los of work. Sí, mucho trabajo. Sí, mucho trabajo, ¿no? Bien. Y luego, so, what did you do? Sí. What did you do on Sunday? No, Sunday no, porque estamos, estamos hablando de un día entre la semana, entendería yo. No, claro. Uh -huh. Solo estaba leyendo. Ah. A ver. Ah, lo podemos dejar hasta le... ahí, ¿verdad? Vaya, es de muchas reuniones, mucho trabajo y mucho trabajo. Uh -huh. Por eso está muy yeah, yeah. ocupado. Y ahí sería... Um, digamos que contesta... So what... eh. 
Um, uh, um, on Monday, and where this Monday? Um, Y, y, y para poner algo así como a, a qué horas termina su jornada. ¿Eso en cuál en cual, en, en cual, en cual parte? Eh, no, o sea, para, para ampliar un poquito más la conversación, aquí no, no saliendo un poquito del, de, o sea, dándole... All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let me have two volunteers. Or oh, you need more time. More time. more time, please, teacher. Okay, let's do it, more time. Hi, hi. Okay. And yo le puse, I still have to clean the house. Todavía tenía que llegar a limpiar la casa. Uh -huh. A ver, ¿qué más podemos agregar ahí? Era de limpiar la casa. Sería clean the house, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. mm. Creo que tiene que ser en pasado también, ¿verdad? Lo que hizo, o va a ser. Uh -huh. No lo que hizo, ¿verdad? ¿Qué le pregunta igual que hizo el fin de semana abajo? Ah, está bien. Uh -huh. Sería, did you have a, uh, no, es, uh, ¿qué hizo? What did you do on weekend? Sí, sería, sería de la misma forma, creo, ¿verdad? Digo yo, solo que sería el weekend. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Le ponemos que fue a la playa. Con sus amigos. Uh -huh.
Y termina con E. Qué bueno, espero que descanses mucho. <risa> Solo tengo una pregunta. ¿Cuál sería el pasado de, de, de ir a la playa? Yo le puse I went. I went. I went. I went. Entonces aquí lo terminaríamos. ¿Cómo, cómo sería? Sí, sería that's good o no sé cómo sería qué bueno o qué genial no sé. Uh -huh. No sé cómo lo pondría. That's good, esa. Um... Es más fácil. Pues sí. <risa> Espero que descanses mucho. Uh -huh. Porque andaba cansada. <risa> Descanse. Bueno, me sale que se puede poner. Espero que descanses mucho. I hope you get a lot of rest. Uh -huh. No sé si estará ahí. Creo que ahí sería, va. Vaya, entonces quedaría. Vaya, yo lo, yo un poco, lo cambié un poquito. Uh -huh. Empezaría, do you have a good day? Respondería, uh -huh. no good, I have a work today, I am tired. Uh -huh. All right, guys, eh, ya es hora de tomar la asistencia. Eh, por favor, encendamos la cámara un minuto eh, para tomar el screenshot. Okay. Everybody say. Huh? Okay. Everybody say cheese. One more. Uno más. Everybody say cheese. Thank you. Ok, puede apagar su cámara si desea.
now I'm going to call your name. Voy a tomar la asistencia. Cuando diga su nombre, por favor, diga presente. Ana Lisette. Present. Present. Eh, Brenda Susana. Present. Cristian Lisandro. Present teacher. Cindy Janet. Present teacher. Claudia Beatriz. Present. Claudia Roxana. Present teacher. Daris Marisol. Daris Marisol. Absent. Diego Serrano. Diego Serrano. Absent. Erasmo Perla. Present teacher. <laughs> Eric Xavier. Present teacher. Fátima Guadalupe. Present teacher. Glenda Maribel. Present teacher. Jendal Mariel. Present teacher. Jennifer Beatriz. Present. Jeremiah's Alexander. Present. George Alberto. Present teacher. Jose Jovito. Present teacher. Karen Lisette. Present. Karen Stephanie. Karen Stephanie. Absent. Okay. Karen Zuleima. Karen Present. Zuleima. Present. Katia. Present. Uh, thank you, Karen. Katia Carolina. Present. Katia Lorena. Katia Lorena, absent. Manuel de Jesus. Present. Monica Maria. Present, teacher. Nady Ivis. Present, teacher. Noemi Lisette. I'm here. Rose Maria del Milagro. Santos Miguel. Santos Miguel. Absent. Silvia Esperanza. Present teacher. Jacqueline Stephanie. Present teacher. All right. Okay, very good, guys. Now we are going to go ahead and look at the next activity. For the next activity, we are going to be moving forward and we are going to be looking at this section over here. Knowledge check, 4.4. Instructions, change the verbs in parentheses to the past to complete the story. You don't need to type a period. It is already placed. For example, number one, on Friday night, I, mm, for a phone call. And the verb is wait, 
What is the simple past of wait? Wait. Waited. Waited, correct. Waited. So you add ED. Any questions? Any questions? No. No, teacher. All right. I would like yeah. for everybody to complete the sentences, complete this conversation in pairs. Ready? Let's go. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Well, um, tratamos de contestar esto, ¿sí? Bien, entonces aquí eh, la primera sería eh, oh, free, sería guay, hay, o sea, es aquí el, el, el verbo, el, el pasado de guay, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, que, on Friday night hay como digo, guayre, ¿qué era? Guayre. 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 Waited for a phone call. Um, en el siguiente, by my girlfriend, ¿cuál sería aquí el no call? No. Did not call. Perdón, ¿cuál sería? No, no call. Um, by my girlfriend. ¿Cómo continuaría aquí el esto? Sí, ahí utilizaríamos lo que vimos ayer, el auxiliar did. Entonces, did not call. Did, did no call. Sí. Sí. Ok. Did, 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 did no call. No call. Sí, así es. Perfecto. Um, a ver, yes. did, no, did no call. Did no call. Muy bien. I use study home. Um, watch TV. Sería esto de el watch. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Ah, ya, yeah. sí, sí. Agregamos el ED, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Watch. 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 A ver. Watch. Sí. On, on Saturday, I visited, visit, el, igual, va a agregar el, el edad, visit, edad. Sí. 
sí. With that, um, list them, list them. ¿Cómo sería el pasado de list them? ¿Cómo? ¿Cuál sería el pasado de esto? List them, list them, list, list them. Lista, lista, lista. Igual, va a ver al final. Sí. Bien. ¿Y cómo, se, cómo traduce eso? Eh, eh, with, with her and listening to music. Bueno. Después vemos como alguna traducción que no. Y luego esta de que aparece el inicio ahí la. ¿Cómo quedaría esto? ¿Dónde está? No word. No word, ajá. Solo se le agrega el tire, no se cambia el verbo, se deja en presente. Entonces sería. All right, is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finish, finish, teacher. All right, finish. let's check. Let's look at number two. One volunteer, number two. One volunteer, number two. Karen. Number two, Karen. Um, okay. But my girlfriend no call. Excellent. But my girlfriend didn't call. Correct. Thank you. Fátima Guadalupe, number, number three. Uh, number three, teacher. Fátima Guadalupe. Number three. Yes. I just started home and watched TV. Very good. Watched TV. Continue, please. Anna. On Saturday, I visited my friend Frank. Excellent. Visited is correct. The next one, Noemi Lisette. We thank him and listen to music. Yes, listen to music. George Alberto. 
continue. In the evening, he in, invited some friends over, and we cook. Cooked. Excellent. Very good. I did you. Yes, Fatima Guadalupe. The next one. Okay. Number five. Uh, the next one. I didn't work very hard on Sunday. Excellent. Didn't work. The next one for me, Jacqueline. I didn't study at all. Very good. I didn't study. Claudia Beatriz, continue. Welcome to the mall and shopping. Very good. Shopped. Shopped. All right. Any questions related to this activity? No, teacher. Okay. Let's move forward. 4.5. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using regular simple past verbs. Al final de esta clase aprenderán a sonar natural cuando usen verbos regulares en pasado simple. Listen, please. Now it's your turn to practice. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to sound natural when pronouncing simple past verbs. The ed ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in t. Worked. Watched. These verbs end in d. Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. In order to understand when we'll have a t, d, or id sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now, I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn, watch, turn, watch, watch. turn. Watch, turn. Whenever we pronounce the word watch, there is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the word turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. This is called a voice sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Len has D sound. So we pronounce the past as landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following this 
particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. The following consonants have boys sound. L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, All right, guys, time's up. Your homework is going to be to complete the activity. And we see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye, guys. Good night. Good night.